And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a stack bar graph in Adobe Illustrator. We've got a tool for that as well. Let us just go over to the graph tools and there it is. Right click on it, you can select it. Just drag it, I hold shift. And this data spreadsheet will open. I'll just give it some random names and values. So the first cell, it needs to be empty. Then add the values or the parameters for the x-axis. I'll just use the social media names and then create some parameters for the y-axis. So I've got five views to dislikes. These will be on the y-axis. And the social media companies four, they will be stacked and on the x-axis. I'll give the random values. And the scaling, it will be as well on the x-axis and it will be the sum of the highest stacked value. So in this case, subscriber and engagement. And you can see that it adds up to around 14, which makes the scale go to 15. And the different social media companies, they are stacked on each parameter of the y-axis. And this gray tone is by default activated. You can use the selection tool and then right click and click on type and you can add the drop shadow on the style that I've added here. Just uncheck it if you don't want to have that. I'll use the group selection tool to add different colors here. Let me deselect everything. Then I double click on the Facebook icon and all of the stacked values in the bars or the stacked areas in the bars are selected as well. So just use this group selection tool and click two times on the rectangle right next to the name. The final one, let's make that green. It's good. If you want to get rid of the stroke of the bars, you can't just select it all because it's still grouped. So you can see it gets rid of the scale as well. I press Ctrl Z to undo that. And you can't just select the bars as they're still connected to the group as a graph. So you need to select it first and then go to object and ungroup it until you can't ungroup it further. And now you can select the bars and get rid of the stroke if you don't want to have that anymore. I want to keep it, so I press Ctrl Z. I just wanted to show this. And these are the basics of creating these stack bar graphs in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.